Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. In the previous session, we examined special operators like topological, distance, and bounding box operators. In this session, we will explore SQL filtering in detail. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Common Query Language or SQL is a query language created by the OGC for the Catalog Web Services specification. Unlike the XML-based filter encoding language, SQL is written using a familiar text-based syntax. It is thus more readable and better suited for manual authoring. However, SQL has some limitations. For example, it cannot encode ID filters and it requires an attribute to be on the left side of any comparison operator. For this reason, JavaServer provides an extended version of SQL called eSQL. eSQL removes the limitations of SQL, providing a more flexible language with stronger similarities with SQL. It uses two different filters while querying data in JavaServer and allows you to specify various conditions such as attribute comparisons, logical operators, special predicates, and more. eSQL expressions are used in JavaServer's REST API and can be used in conjunction with WMS and WFS requests to retrieve filter data from a JavaServer instance. Comparison operators. To compare attribute values or other numerical and textual values in your SQL or eSQL expressions, you can utilize comparison operators. An easy way to follow along with the tutorial is by accessing the JavaServer map review for the top column states layer. In the map preview, click on the Tile Option toolbar located at the top left to open the Advanced Options toolbar. Within the toolbar, you can enter the example filters in the Filter SQL box. Enter the SQL filter, then press the Apply button as you see on the screen. The filter displays the state name that is equal to Texas. SQL filters can also be used through the get method. To do it, you can follow what you see on the screen. This filter will display the states that have more than or equal to 3 million inhabitants. To display the states with a population of less than 3 million, you can utilize the properties less than filter as shown on the screen. By following these steps, you will be able to understand and apply comparison operators effectively using SQL and eSQL expressions and leverage the JavaServer map preview for visualization and experimentation. Now let's experiment with another filter, such as properties like. This filter shows the states whose names contains the letter ing like Washington and Wyoming. Properties null. This filter shows the states where states names are null. As you can see on the screen, there are no states that meet this filter. Properties between. This filter shows the states with a population of 5 million to 10 million. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. Special operators. The special operators allow you to perform special queries and filter data based on various relationships between geometries. Here are the explanations for some commonly used special operators. Intersect filtering. This filter allows you to query special data in JavaServer based on geometric intersection relationships. It returns all features that have any special intersection or overlap. The syntax for the intersect filter in SQL is as follows. Remember that the special operators are not case sensitive.
B-Box Filtering The B-Box Filter in CQL allows you to query special data in Gel Server based on a bounding box or a rectangular area. It helps you retrieve all features that intersect or are contained within the specified bounding box. Within filtering The within operator checks if a special object is completely within another special object. This filter retrieves all features that are located within the boundaries of a specified geometric shape using special relationships. Contains filtering in Java Server, the contents filter is the inverse of the within filter. It checks if a special object completely contains another special object and helps you retrieve features that fully enclose the specified geometry. We use the get method to show this filter. Defeating filtering The defeating filter is used to retrieve features that are located within a specified distance of a given point similar to a buffer. To use this filter, you need to provide the point geometry, distance value, and unit of measure. Note that unit conversion is only supported for PostGIS and Oracle data sources. Other formats like shapefiles cannot handle varying units. To do it, first publish the state layer through the PostGIS data store, then apply the unit conversion as you see on the screen. In this session, we examine the SQL filtering in detail. If you would like to gain proficiency in your server software from beginner to advanced without any cost, please subscribe to my channel, watch the videos, and share them with your friends. Also, if you'd like to know more information about the special operators, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a great time!